Hey Aries, what's poppin'? What's going on, my loves? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome in. Definitely hit that subscribe button before we even jump into this video. Hit that subscribe button, it is free, you guys. And as you watch this video, if you happen to like the energy, it's resonating with you, or you're just interested in what I have to bring to this space, then definitely hit that thumbs up and turn the bell notification on so you're made aware as soon as I upload and you can see more of this pretty face, period. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it, you guys. Let's see what energies are coming through for y'all. And for me. <laughs> I'll open the messages. The two of wands popped out um, right before I hit play on the video recording. So that's all about alchemy. Ooh, the whole deck. Hangman. Okay. We're not gonna keep all these cards because that's a lot. But I could tell you some of this energy that came out. The Tower, High Priestess, Five of Wands. 10 of coins, the strength card in reverse. Are some of you guys cowarding away from your purpose? You're not wanting to be the center of attention. Some of you guys need to work on that and not wanting to um, be too vain or whatever when it comes to your public persona. I said I wasn't finna read all these cards and look at me reading, but hey, if it's a message, it's a message. But working on, when it, when it comes uh, to your public persona, right? The way that other people perceive you as well, your reputation and or the one that you're trying to build for yourself. This can also be a brand, right? A career or a business that you're trying to start for yourself. You're super intentional about the way that you want to come across, right? You don't want to come off as somebody that's fake, somebody that's just in it because it's something that might be trendy. You know, because you can get trendsetter energy when you have like wands, um, that, that's fire energy there, right? Um, so you don't want to come off as that type of person, like just doing it just for the sake of doing it. There has to be meaning behind it. Um, some of you guys, it's you are feeling like discouraged with this hangman and the tower. Those are two like heavy hitters, okay, in a spread. And so when it comes to maybe your career, right, or what you feel like you are meant to do, it's low and slow in cultivating. Like you have yet to really reap the rewards of all of the hard work and effort that you've put into it. And so some of you guys might be questioning why your path is so hard and why it seems like it's impossible and feeling discouraged and uh Maybe like entertaining the idea of giving up, right? Because you have this five of wands energy. Heads are hung a little low in this spread. If you can see like the shadow. Some of you guys, you feel like you're living in other people's shadow. Other people are getting these accolades for things. Um, and you feel like you, you're not doing anything in, too different. Um, yeah, it's like you're not doing anything too different. Like too drastically different. So you don't see why you aren't getting that validation as well. But was that the intention behind whatever it is that you are uh, striving for and seeking after in terms of success or in terms of just uh, building stability for yourself, right? Did you want to ultimately be popular? If not, then it's no surprise that you're not in the public eye. Um, did you really want to make a lot of money or did you just want to be happy with what you were doing? You know what I mean? Because there's a difference in that. Some of you guys, you have to sit down. This is that Plutonian energy with the Tower card. Pluto is all about transformation, death, rebirth, getting to the heart of the matter when it comes to um, building a foundation, right? One that is going to be strong and sustainable. One that can endure uh, obstacles and challenges here. So when it comes to that, then you have to just make sure that you're being honest about what it is that you want and not being afraid to ask for it and not being afraid to speak, even if it's out of turn, so long as you know that it, it what you're speaking for or who you're speaking for is, is, is in support of your endeavors, right? Your ideals here. All right, we're gonna reshuffle these cards. That came through for business uh, out the gate.
some of you guys is just continue doing what you're doing you know um definitely if you're seeking recommendations and you you have the money to um invest in having like a what do they call those like an image consultant or speaking with a lawyer or just somebody that has already um achieved a certain level of success with maybe something similar that you're doing then definitely invest and reach out and see what it is that they have to say see what you need to tweak at this time some of you guys would benefit in getting a palm reading i'm definitely getting that i've had the urge personally to go and have uh, myself read by an astrologer or just another intuitive just to see what they see what they know but some of you guys will really benefit in doing that I'm going to keep the hangman and the tower out because I feel like those are really heavy hitters. Um, and that's, it's going to leave an imprint. Some of you guys, you have gone through a tremendously tough time. Um, but in that, you've been hanging in the balance as far as your career and the next steps that you should be taking. But this period, you're going to come out of it. Um, what, do, what do I want to say? Like, whatever projects you can develop because of the turmoil you've gone through is something that's really going to resonate with a lot of people you know yeah getting that you have the hierophant that teaching energy you have the knight of swords the queen of coins and the eight of coins right Whatever it is that you are about to do or whatever it is that you've been working on, those that actually see you, that have seen your work, that have maybe provided constructive criticism, when you get coins energy, you can get that constructive criticism with what it is that you're doing, um, really listen to them. They, they mean well by you. They, they highly respect what it is that you're doing. You are highly regarded or you will be highly regarded very, very soon very very soon now that soon can be in a year that soon can be in six months that soon can happen over the next six hours after i release this video it's really just depending on your personal transit how this is affecting you in terms of your career or projects or businesses that you're working on and how adamant you have been how consistent you have been with the things that you've done to see some results to see growth and to 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 have people take notice of what you're doing right that you have to have done some work for it to get to this point so if you're just now getting started just understand um that this isn't an easy path but it is one that will be it's going to have meaning and i know a lot of you aries care about that just whatever it is that you decide to give your energy to pay attention to and or invest in it has to be something that is worth your time worth the energy the investment right it has to have meaning um and so you will get that and or you will see that here very soon some of you guys i'm hearing dividends if you've been investing in stocks with this knight of swords energy you may be learning about that doing some research about that and or it would be highly beneficial to you to learn more about investments in stocks, you can be receiving dividends, getting those alerts, uh, getting a huge payout, uh, trying to figure out when it comes to trends, right? I touched on that, that word trendsetter. When it comes to trends, try to figure out what stocks are maybe underrated, 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 maybe even slept on. Um, but that have growing potential, um, something that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> I love how this comes through. Something that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to invest in, but where you know you can you can you can become very wealthy if you actually do your due diligence and learning about stocks and or that's something that is going to pique your interest coming up. Um, again, don't follow what's already happening and what has blown up because as soon as people start chattering about it is when the the market of whatever that thing is 
will crash and then there's not really any more value that you can pull from that so anybody that was investing in dogecoin dogecoin however you pronounce it d-o-g-e coin um there are a lot of people that came up at least thirty thousand dollars even more than that you know um and, and and just having that blind faith in all well, blind faith followed by knowledge of the market right but those two combined like okay i'm putting my money in this thing it will i will get some sort of a return with my my intention of wanting to make some more passive income so i'm not working so hard maybe with my day-to-day -day job here so those people saw a return but then with twitter once it blew up other people decided to start investing in it and they're losing money right now so find the newest trend um also it's imperative that you invest in things that um that are like everlasting like that are necessities when it comes to like toilet tissue when it comes to vehicles or just some sort of mode of transportation i would i would invest in marijuana so start learning about those different stocks and the best ones to invest in but there are a lot of states that are starting to legalize marijuana and so if you can invest early i'm pretty sure you will see a return in that some of you your 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 income is uh going to come from like an inheritance something that you have no knowledge of like this you can be oblivious to this because you have the knight of swords that's very immature energy when it's paired with the hierophant which is a very wise card um like the the philosopher of cards when you open pandora's box type of thing um but you can be receiving an inheritance that's where you get your money from lottery hey if you want to take your chances and play the scratch off you know you you could win some money now i'm not saying you're going to win the mega millions you know the the texas lottery or the powerball but if you you know get a two dollar scratch off and you're up 30 then you know that's a 28 dollar profit so think of it in terms like that whenever you have uh, these monetary increases that are going to be happening for you keep that in mind like it's it's about the slow but sure victory slow and steady aries that's the thing that's the name of the game here and we are very impulsive so it's very hard to get us to um take our time but i feel like that is really going to be of your your benefit here when it, when it comes to career now let's talk about love what's going on in y'all's love life some of you guys can be dealing with aquariuses may have just broken up with that aquarius because of that full moon in scorpio because you have the star card in reverse followed by the four of swords Oh, wow. Oh, wow. If you're single, you are super single. Like your phone is dry AF. <laughs> but for those that are wanting to do like more internal work, being a little bit more introspective or self-reflective, you don't really care for companionship. That's cool. Here with this star in reverse. But yeah, with this energy, you're not really approachable right now. For those of you that are in a relationship, you have the Nine of Cups and the Four of Wands. I am hearing wedding bells, baby. Um, this is all about like engagement, enticement. So your sex appeal is heightened right now. You're, you're trying different things within the home, within the bedroom um, that brings excitement, passion, romance into your relationship. You can be dealing with another fire sign and or they just have a good aspect to like your fourth house, fifth house, ninth house. Um, but when it comes to marriage, you know, that's more so like your seventh, uh, sometimes maybe eighth too, like the type of partner and or how you can get money from a partner, like for the people that marry into wealth. So look at those placements and see how this can be affecting you at this time if you are single and or if you are dating, you know, you're in the dating field too. This can be for couples and for those that are dating here. Um, double dates coming up pretty soon. That's going to be fun. You can, um, it's, it's like, it's always fresh when you have new perspectives and you can see how other couples are doing things and taking from them those things that you are inspired by that you want to kind of like implement into your own relationship to bring it to new heights that way too but cups energy is all about like sensation satisfaction the feeling space your emotional your 
your, your emotions. So you can be dealing with a very emotionally receptive type of individual, somebody that like truly loves you and um, whose, excuse me, family and friends also love you, love to uh, be around you. Life of the party type of energy, power couple type of energy here too. You can be paired up with somebody where you have that like telepathic type of relationship where you don't have to ever say too much or do too much and they already kind of understand your wants and needs and act on those things. It's always very nice, but um, then when you know planets start going retrograde and there are little hiccups and miscommunication, you know, don't fault them for it for not being psychic and being able to read their minds. There's a lot going on in those uh, in those regards. But if you are coupled up and or you are on the dating scene, it's looking very, 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 very good. Um, if you broke up with an Aquarius recently, Page of Swords is here. So either another air sign, I would say like Gemini. Aries and Gemini, they're a cool, it's a, it's a, it's a moment. It's a moment. You know, if, if you happen to meet a Gemini, take them up on the offer. They're the type of person that will really give you that like, uh, how do I want to say it? Like they, Geminis want to be known for being like a person to remember, like leaving the best impression on people. Really like if you ever go to a Gemini's house and it's a male and he's single, his place is going to be decked out, give you very much like bachelor. So it's not doing too much, but you can tell that uh, they invest into the quality of like their furniture. Um, it might be dimly lit. They will be the ones who can like read your mood to kind of know what music to play. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like they're very good at setting the mood and gauging what the mood is and tweaking things, you know, um, as the day plays out when you guys spend time together. Um, full of ideas, so there's never gonna be like a dull moment, you know what I'm saying? Awkward silences, you don't have to worry about that with Geminis. Um, they, they really want to explore your mind. Um, so Geminis are very good with mentally stimulating the mind to know what it is that you want can also do that in a way that's kind of manipulative where they can also figure out like your nuances but also like your sexual desires and sometimes your um fetishes even dig that out of you and like perform in the bedroom it can be very uh how do i want to say that it's a, it's a rewarding experience let me just say that you will enjoy yourself so that's the thing. If you broke up with an Aquarius, Gemini is here. Libra can also be here. But this person is going to be younger and in age, maybe in age. If not in age, then at least in spirit. Um, you might be a little taken aback by this person, too. They might catch you by surprise. Somebody that can very well um, leave you. I'm hearing tongue tied. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't really know what that means anymore. When somebody leaves you tongue tied or speechless this is that type of person and or if you broke up with this aquarius but you know that in your heart of hearts you still love them um there's going to be an opportunity to have like pretty straightforward dialogue with this individual and to really hash it out you know um so don't hold anything back I was watching, what's that show called that I'm like obsessed with right now? It's Seeking Sister Wife. It's a shit show and I want to do a review so bad. I just don't know what platform I want to do a review on. But Seeking Sister Wife, there's a wife. Her name is Danielle. She's married to Garrick and he has recently uh, started developing a relationship with the new sister, Roberta. And like she found out during a trip that they went on recently where they were linking up with Roberta because she's from Brazil. For those that aren't watching the show, little caveat background um she's from brazil and so the only way that she can get to the united states is if you know she gets married and they apply for like that 90 day visa or whatever and so he had to actually get a divorce garrick from his wife danielle they've been married for 13 years they have like two children or whatever together um and so they went through those proceedings and now she has these like feelings of insecurity and doubt because 
he's not legally married to her anymore so he could really just run off with this new chick from brazil that he's in love with so much or whatever so she's trying to make it work because she loves this guy they meet up in mexico because that's the only place roberta can go where she doesn't need like a visa or anything to fly she can just use like her passport or whatever they're there um that first night roberta wanted to make it seem like oh we're such a big family we all need to spend time together because it's been so long since we've seen each other in person and so danielle i want you to sleep in the same room with me and garrick tonight um so danielle went to go get her things and while she was getting her things they had a quickie garrick and roberta she didn't know about this until a few days later when roberta confessed it and um roberta wanted to like express it because she was like i don't want there to be any secrets basically i just kind of want you to know where we're at like we've already had an intimate moment and danielle was just like okay and roberta's like is that okay and she's like yeah but then she admitted in the interview by herself that she she was more upset and disappointed than she led on and so I'm saying all of this to say, if you have a situation where there are some things that you um, always wish you could have said in the moment when you guys were having certain conversations before, now is the time for you to really articulate how you truly feel and just get it off of your chest. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point you have nothing to lose, especially if you guys are already separated. You have nothing else to lose at this point. Um, and so don't allow for your fear of the way that they may interpret what you're saying to keep you from your authentic expression you know and potentially your breast your your blessing i was about to say blessing your blessing okay um nothing good ever comes out of that a closed mouth does not get fed so if you have an opportunity to get some closure or just you know just have another conversation now that your emotions maybe have subsided and you're, you're not super emotional or reactive you know you've had time to kind of step away and see outside of the situation um then now's the time to come together and be able to logically and rationally have a conversation and it be peaceful you know there can be some harmony um and you can really get to understand each other and uh each one's perspective even though it's different nobody said that you had to agree but you can at least find some understanding in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's coming through Aries. If it resonated, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, other areas that you might know. Um, also subscribe if you haven't. Come on, hit that button. Hit that button, get us to 10,000 um, so I can do a giveaway or do something special for this channel. But yes, also I'm open for private readings, but if you don't book with me, then please just take care of yourself and soul until you see me again, okay? If you're interested in that, it's in the description box below. But take care until you see me again, all right? Ciao.